one of the things that has been part of my relationship building is the car community, right? When we're on the drift track, when we're at car shows, when we have the blazer out, when we're doing different events, it was a hobby and a passion that we were able to put into the business. So it gives me two abilities. One, it becomes a business expense, mm -hmm. right? For the things that we enjoy, for the drift racing, all the things, all the cars, all that stuff, right? It gives something to do with clients. It gives a connection. And there's guys that we're building, you know, through and with on the investment side. And that came out of hobby, right? Yep. You have little kids. I spend so much time at school, you would have thought I was enrolled. <laughs> But dude, we were broke. I didn't have any money to advertise. So I just, you know, went in and played in the mud with the kids and helped them color. And like, you know, you just got to be a five-year-old for yeah. four hours twice a week. <laughs> but I built a lot of real relationships and people are like, well, this guy's kind of crazy, but I mean, I would buy a house from him, right? And, you know, it goes back to my dad saying, right? It's better to be there than to be good. The relationship comes. And this is the funny part about all the crap that's going on in the world right now. Most of the time, the consumer doesn't do a good job of interviewing the person. Like, yeah. oh, you were referred. You were also a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> right? But we don't know that. <laughs> So you kind of go through those relationships and those pieces, but yeah, the circles and the hobbies are great places to go. Where can I meet and enjoy the community and real estate may come up yeah. where I can throw something in. 